Today, Kevin and I are going to be trying the new Klondike shakes. Uh, they are in a pouch. I have the chill out and vanilla. And I have the wine down and chocolate. Uh, these were $5.99 each at Kroger. There is another flavor, uh, it's strawberry, but our Kroger did not have the strawberry, so we're just trying the ones that we could get a hold of. Um, I found that when I wait for things to get to our area, then, you know, it's, it's too late. So I wanna try these while they're new. Uh, it says, take it out of the freezer, wait three minutes, uh, before you start uh, to eat it. So we have had these out. It's probably been more like five or six minutes, uh, but I took one pouch. You get six pouches in the box. I took one out and I've had these laying to the side. Um, it says, fact, sometimes we just need to sit back, chill out, stress less, and indulge in something creamy and amazing. Yep, we got you. Um, so one pouch is 110 calories. Why do they have it per 100 uh, grams? Why do they have it written two different some, ways? Some countries, you know, they like it that way. I know, but these are, we're in, are they sending these to another country? Mm -hmm. I mean, why did they do Mine that? Mine has a little piece of chocolate. I mean, a little I know, it's like chocolate was on the outside of yours. I know. Wow. Uh, well, it, it's just, I don't know why it's written this way. It says one pouch is 76 grams. It's 110 calories. And then they said for 100 grams, it's 150. But I don't know who cares about that uh, because these some, are 110. But, but some, some Unless places, they're sending it to another country, yeah. I don't get the point. Or you measure yours by 100 grams. Uh, enjoy responsibly. Live the chill life and keep frozen. Nope, do not microwave. Enjoy <laughs> yeah, all know. at once. Please do not refreeze or refrigerate it. So once you've opened it, you need to eat it. And if you don't eat it all, you need to throw it in the garbage. They're saying don't put it back in the freezer. Uh, no artificial growth hormones. This is made by, uh, Klondike is made by Unilever in uh, Inglewood, New uh, Cliffs, New Jersey. So your vanilla is 110 and 150. Mine's 120 and 160. So mine's 10 more calories for the chocolate. So what you would typically do is you would typically open this up. I'll let you do it. Open that up and you would eat from the pouch. Because we are doing a review and we want to see it, we're going to put in the ball and try it. Oh, does it start coming right out? Okay. We're gonna hold it up a little bit so we can see the magic happen here. Um, it looks like toothpaste. <laughs> it does look like toothpaste. Um, it's pretty thick though. But I wanna get a, try to get a picture for you all for the end. Yeah, what the texture and stuff looks like. Do you think I know? No, squeeze the whole thing out. It's cold. Well, we can wait till after the video and squeeze it all out because I just wanna make sure there's uh, a ton for the picture. You can wait till the video's over and then we'll squeeze the rest of it out. That way it'll give it time to soften. It looks like soft serve uh, Dairy Queen. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. oh. Kind of squeeze and suck it at the same time. Like you're sucking some off a straw. That kind of tastes like soft serve Dairy Queen. It's actually pretty good. It does. It's not a super sweet ice cream though. That's it? what I was going to say. I like it and it does remind me of like yeah, something you get from Dairy Queen. I love the texture. Yeah, the texture is really good. It's kind of got that uh, ice crystal -y kind of texture. And I was concerned that you would eat this very, very quickly. No, but take a while. if you're eating it out of a bowl like this, yes, you're going to eat it quickly. You get quite a bit though. You do get quite a bit for 110 calories. If you're eating it out of that pouch like you saw us try, um, and then it's going to take you a little while. Yeah. And I think this is awesome for kids running around the backyard in the mm -hmm. summer. I, am. I think that is perfect for now, children. Now, what other food reviewer is going to squirt a milkshake out? Of I don't know. But I do like I do like taking it and uh, trying it out of the pouch. The pouch is really easy. To tie. I worry about how easy that would be to eat, but it's really super easy. And it's so soft. I mean, if you did want to do this, you could squirt it out. It's very thick right at the beginning. It's just, it's not too sweet, which will make a lot of you happy. You could even put sprinkles on that if you did squeeze it out. But the whole point of this is to eat it out of the pouch. So why would you do that, you know? If you wanted to, something with sprinkles, you're going to buy something else. It's thicker. Ooh. <laughs> I can't. Hold on. 
I'm just gonna squirt. Th that one's definitely thicker. I'm not good with things like this. You gotta squeeze it from the bottom. I'm not good. You know those cup, those big cups that you take to the gym, and you have to get the water. It's so a straw. I'm not That's good with the, the the squirt bottles. I'm not good with those at all. You have to squeeze from the bottom. You have to put pressure from the bottom and squeeze up. Yeah, and it's really thick. This one's super super thick compared to the vanilla. It is. Uh, that one's also lacking sweetness. It is a dark a darker chocolate. Yeah. It's um. Wow. There's so many things <laughs> I could say. I'm, I'm squeezing pretty hard too. I'm afraid my so butt's sticking So many things I could say. I'm so afraid. many jokes that could be made I'm afraid right I'm going to break the container. Here, give me the scissors. If, the um, if I wanted to say what I wanted. Here, take this. Keep it clean, Tammy. Uh, <laughs> um, there. Now I can just... Squeeze the whole thing out. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah. Much better. But you can see how much you get. Yeah, you get quite a bit. Yeah, you do. Say. Like I said, if you have kids running around, even in the house, you know, truly to goodness. Because um, when are you going to hand your toddler a ball of ice cream and just say, Here you go. go for it? Yeah. This, though, I would feel comfortable especially more so the vanilla than the chocolate, but I would feel comfortable giving this to Gavin or Amelia to walk around with in the house. Yeah, not, I really would. It will dribble off the top though. So there's it nothing will. to keep it from coming out of the top if they laid it down. But no different than if you're, they're having Kool-Aid out of a sippy cup or and you have those, to worry uh, about it coming out of a straw or they love to drink chocolate milk. What's that know? twisted, the bottle with a Squeeze it. Squeeze it, so those are all the same. If thing. your kids do that, then I think this is a good way. So that. not just, out in the backyard, but around the house. I think uh, as long as they know, don't let it drip out the top, I think they're good to go. But me, I would get the vanilla. The chocolate's a little dark for me. I mean, it's not bad, it's just lacking sweetness. It needs a little more right. sweetness to it. The vanilla's good, it's it's also lacking sweetness, but it has a better flavor. So. I bet the strawberry's good too, because I know Sorry the, for me, the yeah. strawberry in a Klondike is good. So I'd say the strawberry will be good too. So you might want to try that too if it's in your area uh, but out of these two i would pick the vanilla yeah, as well in about three to five minutes that would seem to be the perfect time for the vanilla the chocolate i think i probably would have left a, even a, another a few little minutes. bit longer yeah so i hope you enjoy the video and thanks for watching